Let's talk first best moments of the night. Lonnie, you think it is Nikki Haley's answer on abortion. Let me play a portion of this. Can't we all agree that we should ban late-term abortions? Can't we all agree that we should encourage adoptions? Can't we all agree that doctors and nurses who don't believe in abortion shouldn't have to perform them? Can't we all agree that contraception should be available? And can't we all agree that we are not going to put a woman in jail or give her the death penalty if she gets an abortion? Lonnie, why does this one stick out so much to you? Kate, I think it's because if your basic idea coming out of this debate is who is going to be the most credible in a general election, who's going to be able to take out Joe Biden in November, and that's the case you're making, and I think that's the essence, at least part of the essence of uh, Nikki Haley's candidacy, she did well to give an answer that will appeal to general election audiences. And I think that was the answer you heard her give last night. I think overall... Her performance last night was quite good in the sense that she actually presented a case for why she ought to be the Republican nominee. She presented herself as someone who could be electable, and she was different. She was a breath of fresh air on that stage. And it can be hard to stand out. As Terry and I know, when you prepare candidates for debates like this, it is really about how do you uh, get separation? How do you show yourself to be different? And I think she did that last night.